morning students welcome back to our class that is retail management and today we are going to start with the second topic of fourth unit that is nothing but sources of merchandise management in the last class we discussed what we mean by merchandise management now we are going to learn uh, what are the sources of merchandise management now what do you mean by merchandise sourcing sourcing means what the term sourcing means finding or seeking out products from different places or manufacturers or suppliers that means taking out the resources sources that what are the source who is the what sort of products are they what sort of from which places we can get the raw materials who will be the manufacturers or who are the suppliers of the raw material so we have to find out so that is the process of or the term of sources Finding out or seeking out the products is nothing but from different places like manufacturers, suppliers. This process is known as merchandise sourcing. The process of merchandise sourcing starts with the identification of source of supply. So it starts from identifying the source of supply. What is the main source of supply? The thing is, how the selection of merchandise sourcing takes place? In the selection of merchandise sourcing. The following criteria should be considered like selling history who are the sellers suppliers we should have to collect the history consumers perceptions of the manufacturer's reputation what is the reputation of the uh, manufacturers in front of the are in the minds of the customers reliability of delivery trade terms projected markup quality of merchandise all these things are the main purpose of selecting the merchandise sources what are the sources of merchandise see merchandise sources are many but here we can discuss like buying directly from the manufacturers or there is nothing but the importer or job the direct salesman or buying group manufacturers sub repairers repping firm or distributors or importers consignment agreement buying services and buying firm. all these things are the sources of merchandise Merchant manufacturers, that means what are the sources of merchandise management? They are manufacturers and primary producers, wholesalers, importers, agents, private brands. Now, we will discuss one by one. What do you mean by manufacturers and primary producers? Like, the manufacturers and the primary producers which normally tend to be limited in the range of goods they produce and vary considerably in the nature and extent of distributive services which they provide. So, however, sourcing it directly from manufacturer is advantageous to larger retailers as they can negotiate a better deal from the manufacturers directly. In common parlance, if I want to say that, we have to first thing is who is the manufacturer? We have to identify it and we have to finalize it. That is the main primary producer or who are the primary producers of our product. Then wholesalers. So what the wholesaler will do in the merchandise management, they carry stock at their own risk in either white, I mean general, or more limited or specialist assortments. So the retailers normally buy their merchandise through wholesalers or distributors. They won't go because here the merchant won't take any kind of risk. Either the product is uh, that means own risk, he don't want to take if the uh, manufacturers are in bulk, they can't manufacture other any specialist or certain. So normally they will take this, that means wholesaler, I will purchase the goods from wholesaler or distributors. Now, uh, next thing is importers. Importers are in the, what is the work of importers in the source of merchandise management business? They are usually linked in the range of merchandise carried and the extent of the services provided. They may specialize by type of goods wherever produced or by the products of a particular country or state. Now, so what is happening here? The agents will come. So the intermediaries do not carry out stock at their own risk. They include brokers who look after the marketing of the manufacturers or importers, products, or grocery, chemists, and other outlets. 
Some agents do not handle the rules at all, and others may carry sample ranges but do not full stop at their own. The range of merchandise carried and the services provided depend largely on the sources, structure, and network. Last one, private brands. So private brands are also known as store brands. So these products are developed and marketed by the retailer itself. They provide higher margins to retailer than manufacturers brands or national brands. So these are available to retailer through its own manufacturing facilities. Another type of brand that the retailers produce are licensed brands. Like these are the brands owner of a well-known brand name contract with a license to develop, produce and sell the merchandise. So examples are many that is international cosmetics manufacturers have licensed national companies to manufacture and market their products. So these are the repos. So these are the sources of merchandise. You can see here which manufacturers are show room or factory is a main source of merchandise. The uh, manufacturers, sales people and reps. These are the second Third one is manufacturers, uh, what can I say, uh, catalogs, price list, website, these are another source, wholesaler, retailers, resident buying offices, consignment, all these things which consume the source of merchandise. Now, what are the factors? Factors are influencing the vendor selection. So, Buyers should maintain better relations with the vendor as they are excellent sources of market information. Since obtaining accurate and timely information is essential in product selection process. So the retailer needs to consider the following factors by sorting the prospective vendors like product demand, product quality, vendor status, proximity of vendor, Advertising strategies, consistent supply, authorized source, credit terms. These are the factors of vendor selection. So, product demand. See, what is happening? What is the main demand? I mean, what sort of products are in demand in the market? You have analyzed and you have to select. Then, the quality of that product. After selecting the product, they will check. They should have to check the quality of the product, and because it is an it means the reputation of the retailer demands to a great extent on the quality of goods supplied by him and thus he should not take any risk by providing low quality goods. So what is happening now when he is uh, providing the quality, the status of the vendor will increase. It means retailer should check the image and reputation of the vendor before purchasing goods from him. Vendor should possess high levels of integration and thus must provide high quality products. Proximity of vendor. See, advancements in technology and transportation by have enhanced efficiency in logistics, thereby making the entire mobilization process to be speedy, one in irrespective of distance. Next, advertising strategies uh, like uh, sales promotions and advertising plays a significant role in retailers or store sectors. So, aggressive vendors support the Retailers in setting up displays and contributing advertising. Now, consistent supplies, authorized sources, credit terms. These are the terms where uh, the vendor should have to select the factors of selecting the vendor. So, what is happening here? They have in the long term, that means they can maintain the long term relationship. So, the terms and conditions of purchasing must be agreeable by both the parties. This will help to minimize conflicts. Now, authorized source. Offer source, that means it is a retailer aims to produce or procure goods from a distributor rather than a manufacturer. We should check whether the vendor is authorized distributor of goods rather than procuring from non authorized dealers of goods. So these are the terms. Now, types of merchandise. Types of merchandise are of quite a staple merchandise, fashionable merchandise. Seasonable, perishable, non perishable merchandise. These are the things. Now, we will learn one by one what does it include. That's stable merchandise. See, stable merchan uh, merchandise is also called as basic merchandise and consists of goods in regular demand, like such as FM music, fast moving consumer goods, food items, and the more popular garments. These are the stable merchandise. Now, fashion 
merchandise. This type of merchandise is in demand for very short periods of time compared with staple merchandise. See, since it demands entirely are changes in the season and the environment. Fashion oriented items, however, last for many seasons, but their sales fluctuate in trade with from season to season. See, uh, with regard to women's apparel, a retail company reaps su success if it can make available the latest trendy looking apparel to the maximum number of customers. That's the wrong. Next thing is fat. Merchandise in this category fell very fast over a short period of time. Most fat merchandise is neither logical nor traditional. Seasonal merchandise. In the seasonal merchandise, what is happening? Like uh, the fluctuate of a great deal as these moments depends on the changes in the season. Like dry food sales are very high during Diwali and wedding season. Warm protein sales uh, are more demand in winter season. In fact, it, uh, fact sales exceed the total sales in the rest of the year. This is the seasoning. Uh, next one is perishable and uh, Convenience the product which uh, is having a shelf life fall into this category must be disposed on very quickly, like bread, meats, milk, fruit, and vegetables are highly perishable and need to be taken care of on a daily basis. So, they must also be purchased on a daily basis and even twice a day in, a, in some cases. So, the branded process are the types of merchandise, like I have now explained. High sales generated are short time season maintain uh, uh, branded now uh, branded products. See, these are the products which are owned by the large companies or corporations and belong to a particular brand. For in, in instance, Lux and Dove are the two brands of soap, Cadbury's and Link are two brands of soap. Generic products. These are the products that do not possess a brand name, but most products that have filled the shelves of stores over the last 50 years are generic in nature. In some cities across the country, a few items, the Napurna, Ata, Swasti, Tandurman, Tata, Sot, etc. shows us that the country is becoming brand conscious. So these are the terms of the source merchandise management. I hope students understand the concept. Please mention your own number in the comment box. Thank you. Have a nice day.